Hello Pokemon fans, thank you for checking in today. I will be showing you the contents of these three new Pokemon tins that we got. The Eevee and Snorlax alternate art, Pikachu and Zekrom, and Selby Venusaur. So I'm just going to quickly get these opened. I'll just do one at a time though. We'll go with Selby Venusaur first. This one is um, my favorite art of the three. I think that the Selby and Venusaur art itself is the best out of all of the arts. Uh, let's see, this is a little bit different than I'm used to. It had like a extra casing in there to hold it in place. So I'm going to set that aside. So here is the Selby and Venusaur. As you can see, it is slightly textured actually. That is very, very cool looking. I'm going to get this in a sleeve. So this card is played um, with generally three or four Selby Venusaurs in, in a deck. And there's some Shaman cards from Lost Thunder that heal 20 from your active grass Pokemon. So this is a really, really cool um, because the deck is played with just those Pokemon generally and a bunch of um, like energy hate cards and healing cards because with that big 270 HP they try to just have you know the one or two Venusaur Selby and Venusaur GX's and get all the energy on there and just take knockouts while being this giant tank that uh, is really really hard to knock out um, and it has a really cool GX attack um, you get to heal all damage from this Pokemon, and if you have an extra grass energy attached to it, you get to shuffle your entire discard pile into your deck. Um, that is going to be the first time that uh, you get to shuffle your discard pile into your deck since Lissandre's trump card was printed, and if you follow competitive TCG at all, you will know that that card got banned. I don't think this card will ever get banned, though, since you can only do that once. Um, and then what's unique with these tins as well is that they come with this really really cool looking metal gx um counter um i'm actually gonna pick up one of these for myself this is really really cool looking i use just the the plastic one from the earlier um elite trainer boxes but this this metal one is very solid very very dense really shiny looking all right so let's quickly get into these packs now We have an Evolutions pack, two Team Up packs, and a Forbidden Light. I'm not sure why they keep giving us these XY um, style packs when they're um, we're already, what, like 10, 9, 10 sets into Sun and Moon, but um, at least Evolutions, I think, is the best one to get out of all of these for the nostalgia. And let's see... Full Heal, Porygon, Pokedex, Charmander, a Psychic Energy, Pikachu, Growlithe, Machop, and a Ninetales Break. Fortunately, that card is not textured at all. I'll get that in a sleeve real quick. And then a Farfetch'd. And then we have, we'll save the Team Up packs for last. Those are my favorite of these packs that we got here. Oh, I revealed one. I am really terrible at this. One, two, three. I know that a lot of viewers like to do the the pack trick, and I'm not used to doing that. I just like tearing into the packs and uh, going through them right away to see if I hit an ultra or not. So we got Bonnie, Magneton, Sligu, Esper, Bunnelby, Honedge, Execute, Noibat, Pangoro, a Zygarde Rare, and a Fire Energy. So nothing good in that pack. And now the, the Team Up pack. We got a white code. And we got Kabuto, Nita, Nita Arena, not Nita Arena, Pancham, Boltorb, Klefki, Charmander, Mankey, Reverse Golduck, and a Latios and Latios GX Tag Team. And I left the energy there. 
as well. We'll get this into a sleeve. Seems pretty fitting to be doing a, a opening of tag team tins and to pull a tag team. Hopefully we can uh, pull some more. I would actually like to pull another Pikachu and Zekrom GX. But a hit is a hit and I'm not going to complain. Another white code. One, two, three, I guess four with that energy. So there's that energy I was just talking about. Sabrina Suggestion, Toracat, Jinx, Weedle, Helioptile, Helioptile. Try my best to pronounce some of these. Uh, Execute, Pharaoh Seed, Meowth, Reverse Magikarp. I like Magikarp better than Phoebus, don't tell Jeff. And a hollow electrode. So no no GX for us this time, but uh, we got a pretty cool looking electrode. It looks like it's like a knit. I like when some of the cards have that knit art to them. All right, and we'll move these out of the way. And we will move on to, we'll save the Pikachu and Zekrom for last. So we're gonna move on to this Eevee Snorlax tin. When, uh, Team Up first came out, I actually liked Eevee and Snorlax the most out of all of the tag teams. And um, it seems like Pikachu Zekrom is definitely the best of all of them. Ooh. Let's see. Kind of nicked it a little bit back there, but looks like there's no damage. Eevee and Snorlax. I'm not a fan of this art. I personally like the pack art a lot better. Um, but this card is also textured as well, if you can kind of see some of those ripples in there. Very cool looking card though, but as I said, I do like the pack art better. Um, and I'm not a fan of full arts and stuffs. I personally like playing um, all like lowest rarity if I can. I'm a little, little boring, but I kind of like all my things to match if I can. And this also has the Evolutions, Forbidden Light, and two team-ups in it as well. We're going to save the team-ups and start with Evolutions. Oh, I didn't talk about why I like Eevee and Snorlax GX. Um, I mostly like it because its dump truck press attack does 120 plus 120 more if the active Pokemon is an Evolution Pokemon. So... Personally, like when I go into a tournament, I always want to make sure that I can beat Zorark GX. And this card would one-shot a Zorark GX. It's just uh, very unfortunate that right now its most common partners are fighting types. Uh, that being Lycanroc GX and Lucario GX. So yes, I would be able to knock out a Zorark and then they would be able to very quickly respond and take three prizes on my Eevee and Snorlax. So maybe someday... Eevee and Snorlax will see a lot of play. I hope so. Both of those are some of my favorite Pokemon. Um, I don't remember if it's three or four. I think it's supposed to be four, but... Kakuna. Charmeleon. Professor Oak's Hint. Nidoran Male. Ponyta. Doduo. Pikachu. Staryu. Magmar. And a Foil Hitmonchan. And it's not a foil bleed, if for those of you who don't know what that is, that would be where these sparkles would trickle down onto the rest of the card. Um, some of those are worth a little bit more to collectors out there. And they are very cool looking, but it's nice to see some of these uh, older style cards get reprinted in evolutions like that. That was a very good idea for them to print that set. Get that code out of there. One, two, three, four, I believe. This will be the Forbidden Light Pack. That energy breaks in Azelf, Crasher Wake, Magnemite, Binnacle, Flabebe, Croagunk, Clauncher, Floet Reverse, and a Torterra Rare. Nothing special in there, but that's because we're saving all the spice for team up. I'm, I'm actually hoping I get a Jirachi. And you know, it's not a GX, it's just a Hollow Rare. But uh, it is a 
very expensive card out of Team Up. It's actually worth more than uh, all the regular Art GXs at the moment. Another Lightning Energy, Tentacruel, Evelyn, Pupitar, Pharaoh Seed, Charmander, Helioeptile, Helioeptile, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, Mankey, Vulpix, Reverse Hollow Starmie, which some people play with Latias and Latios GX, uh, because you can search your deck for up to 3 9 combination of water and psychic energy, and attach them to your bench Pokemon in any, to one of your bench Pokemon. Um, I personally don't like this combo because you're using your attack for turn, uh, so your opponent can have a chance to, like, Guzma up your Pokemon that you accelerated the energy onto, and then they can knock it out or do a bunch of damage to it. So I'm not a fan of Starmie, but some people do like it as a budget Malamar, essentially. And then a Hollow Rare Alolan Golem. Alright, so let's see. Last pack of the Eevee Snorlax. And I'm showing you a tentacle there and another green code. So probably nothing special here, but we could hit a reverse hollow Jirachi, which would be pretty neat. Tentacool and Tentacruel back to back. Ponyta, Alolan Grimer, Cosmog, Litten, Reverse Klefki, and a useless Pidgeot. I'm sorry if anyone is a Pidgeot fan out there. I used to be, but then uh I, I like Talonflame better now. Alright, so the last tin of this opening. Unfortunately, I'm only opening one of each today. Uh, let's open this up real quick. So, yeah, this is the most competitive of the three. So here's the Pikachu and Zekrom. This art is really cool looking. I like that Pikachu is riding on Zekrom's back there. Uh, so full blitz is a very strong attack for only three lightning, which if you have a thunder mountain into play uh, Or in play, I mean you can use its attack for just two lightning energy So then you can search your deck for three energy and attach them to one of your Pokemon Which you can attach it to this Pikachu and Zekrom if you wanted to or you can attach it to anyone else on your bench Which could be another Pikachu and Zekrom GX and then you have this really powerful tag bolt GX attack um, so if you have three extra lightning energy attached to it, you get to do 170 damage to one of your opponent's benched Pokemon. So uh, if you don't already know, Tapu Lele GX has 170 HP. So Pikachu and Zekrom is just going to knock out whatever they have active. So they're going to knock out some kind of threat. Um, and there's Electro Power, Choice Band, Professor Kukui cards out there to let you hit higher numbers than 200 and then you also get to knock out the whatever you want on the bench for 170 very very powerful card and Another one of those cool metal GX counters I'm actually gonna be impatient and I'm gonna open up uh, a team up pack right away and then I'll save the I'll, s I'll actually open Gengar Mimikyu first save the Eevee Snorlax for last Ugh, I can open this up. And a green code. Okay, dark energy. I'll quick show you these if you haven't seen already. These are the new style of energy that they have in Team Up. I'm personally not a fan. I like the regular Sun and Moon style better. The only one I like of this type is the metal energy. Um, and then we have Pupitar, Electro Charger, Charmeleon, Hone Edge. Pidgeotto, Nidoran Male, Cosmog, Magikarp, Galvantula, Reverse, and a Primeape. And we will do Evolutions next. Ah, getting a little stuck there. And a green code. So then we have Radicate. Revive, Nidorino, Devolution Spray, Grass Energy, Rattata, Vulpix, Electabuzz, Magikarp, and a Foil Water Energy. I guess I did that wrong before because I hit the rare right away, which was the Raticate. These are very, very cool looking. But I don't play with foils, so I just use the basic uh, Water Energy from Sun and Moon. 
And I know a lot of people are going to hate me for this, but I actually don't like the Evolution style cards. I know that they're a throwback and stuff, but I prefer the more updated um, template that they use on some of the cards. One, two, three. This would be four. Because they have the 11 cards compared to the 10, I believe. So, Psychic Energy, Uxie, a Mysterious Treasure. And I think that's worth a couple bucks. This card is very strong. It's uh, essentially a better Ultra Ball in some decks, uh, like Malamar and Ultra Necrozma, because you only have to discard one card from your hand, although you would probably still play the four Ultra Ball and four Mysterious Treasure. And then we have Azelf, Pancham, Bergmite, Scatterbug, Gumi, Dupiter, Arceus Prism, I kind of revealed I didn't get a hit already, but that's okay. It might be Arceus. I've always heard Arceus. Jeff always uh, makes fun of me for saying Arceus, because essentially I'm calling uh, this Pokemon uh, a butt. <laughs> and then a Claw Itzer. I'll get this in a sleeve. And the last pack of the opening for today. And a green code. But we could hit the reverse Jirachi and make this pack very profitable. Got a Pupitar, Dratini, Conyard, Alolan Grimer, Ponyta, 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 Mareep, Reverse Ferrothurn. I, I kind of saw that it was a metal reverse and I got excited thinking it was going to be a Jirachi. Ooh, and then my favorite Pokemon, Blastoise. This card is actually really cool. Um, you get to look at the top six cards of your deck and attach any number of water energies you find there and attach them to your Pokemon in any way you like. So this is, isn't as good as one of the older Blastoises that had the Deluge, abil Deluge ability, um, which lets you attach as many waters from your hand as you'd like, but uh, it's still a cool card to use in standard for extra energy acceleration. Um, you can pair it with the... The new Articuno from Team Up, and also with uh, Whale Magikarp and Waylord GX is another cool partner. Well, I just wanted to thank everyone for watching this uh, tin opening video that I did. I know I don't make very many videos, but if you'd like to see more from myself, please comment below, and I, if I have enough support, I will gladly keep making more videos, especially if you'd like me to make some... Um, competitive content ones. I can always stream on uh, PTCGO or um, even just do more deck profiles as well. Um, these tins, if you would like, are going to be available in our store on tomorrow, on Friday, is when the release date is for them. Get yourself some really cool alternate art tag teams that they have, which you cannot get these arts in the set, so you can only get them from this product itself. And also, if you would like to watch Jeff stream on Twitch, um, you can click the link below. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.